Over the course of the last century, our planet has become warmer, but in particular over the last 50 years. It is now recognized that human activities are largely responsible for this warming. In particular, the burning of fossil fuels has released huge quantities of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, which trap additional heat in the lower atmosphere. The impact of this is being seen worldwide as glaciers melt, sea levels rise, and there are more desert areas. The African continent is particularly exposed and vulnerable to the negative effects of global warming. Therefore, the African Union and the European Union have started to work together in the three key research areas affected by climate change – water, agriculture and health. The result of this decision was a call for project proposals, the FP7 Africa Call, out of which several collaborative research projects were funded to help people coping with climate change. Muhimu wa maji kwenye shughuli zangu za kilimo ni faida napata mazao na na nasomesha watoto napata faida kusomesha watoto wangu na kuwapeleka hospitali Haror msidalu lwala mstom kharat khalat nagarat mis afar kill afar akka wasil alkhana nay burye yikhun nay alkhana yikhun nafasna ta nafasu yemtsi malati nay haror lwot yemtsi tumotsulat nafasu hal had waqti kill akhil wni qatsliyu nay dir alkhana ta tun yewqil malati Two of the greatest challenges that farmers face in Africa are learning to better manage the available natural resources and adapting to climate change. That's why a cluster of these FP7 Africa Call projects focus on irrigation, water supply improvement, water harvesting and management with the aim of providing local communities with innovative solutions adapted to the different areas. Uh, the sustainable use of natural resources such as water as the more important of those natural resources is very important because water is first of all the basis of all uh, forms of life on earth. The quantity of water on the planet is uh, uh, fairly sufficient for uh, uh, sustaining all human activities currently and it will be probably also uh, sufficient in the near future to sustain human activities. However, there is a problem on the overuse of water and on water pollution. The most important impact of uh, climate changes in Africa uh, will be on, on uh, uh, farm productivity and on soil fertility, especially in cases where uh, the heavy rains uh, following a dry period will increase soil erosion and uh, will diminish uh, soil fertility through the runoff of the topsoil. Better understanding our changing climate and its implications on food production and water is the first step towards developing coping strategies. As a European funded research project working with 17 partners in Africa, Brazil, and Europe. AgriCab's aim is to use satellite observations of the Earth to manage forest and agricultural resources in Africa more effectively. In Africa, the, a lot of the people depend on the agriculture, in particular in sub-Saharan Africa, where you have uh, more droughts and flood events which impact your crop yield, your crop availability, which also impact uh, the, the prices. You need several years of data to really get a feeling of what's going on if the situation Today and in this growing season is even similar to uh, uh, some year in the past or even do, to the normal situation in the past. So you need to have a long series of satellite data to really make an objective analysis of what is going on. Earth observation is really important, you know, for livestock management, even agriculture in general, because it provides a really high resolution and a cost effective way to get information. Um, on the space that we're interested in. So for example, you know, if you work with rangelands or if you work in farming areas, earth observation uh, satellite data is collected very regularly um, and you have information, you know, from that stretches way back. So it allows you to get a sense of the seasonality. 
Well, our collaboration through AgriCap with the European partners has been extremely useful, bringing in a lot of important knowledge, uh, capacity that uh, is really necessary in the building of these packages and the use of this earth observation information for farmers. Yeah and all the needs are defined. We obviously feed back to the stakeholders in the different countries to check on progress so that they know what is going on, what the project is doing. And afterwards, we ensure an uptake on a wider scale in the form of regional trainings. By which regional, I mean the economic regions in Africa. So we're look, talking about international level and also Pan-African level, African Union, NEPAD, this kind of organization and then even at a global scale with the Global Group on Earth Observation and GEO. Shared learning and partnerships are key to all FP7 projects. This collaborative approach has resulted in better predictive modelling, but also in other advances. Adapting to a changing and more arid landscape is crucial as water availability decreases and pressure on soil resources increases. Over food address basically the development of innovations together with the local farming community. So to involve them into a process, uh, to come up with new practices, with new ideas, and to uh, do this process also together with a wider stakeholder community so that finally we have a so-called transdisciplinary approach that researchers, private sector and government works together. The importance of EAU for Food project in this region can be uh, described in terms of uh, addressing uh, factors, problems that have role in production. Climate change has been affecting this region in terms of uh, prevalent drought occurrences uh, because of uh, this rainfall problem and uh, consequently the rural people who are highly engaged in rain-fed agriculture have been the first victim of uh, uh, climate change. So uh, immediately production decline will be there, then uh, food shortage and uh, migration to uh, urban areas or even to very far areas will be followed. Otherwise, if you have this type of irrigated agriculture, you can uh, make the farmers busy with uh, almost the whole year and you can increase production. So from that perspective, it's very important to have good uh, ideas on the climate variability and, the, and the, the possible damage, and also to make a link to the management strategies to design the production in such a way that you can cope with the climate variability. So learning is uh, uh, one of the advantages from this project. And of course, it's not limited to these uh, platforms, but to our uh, African partners. Uh, we have uh, four partners, uh, Mali, Tunisia, uh, South Africa, Mozambique. Uh, creating those uh, collaboration among the African countries uh, help to exchange best innovations. Developing water resource management strategies is an important part of research for increasing food production. Water harvesting is another area where local people are looking at improving technology in a changing climate. These initiatives will also create new business opportunities. Water is actually a multidisciplinary project uh, that seeks to maximize uh, the benefits of rainfall to farmers across sub-Saharan Africa. This is uh, important and uh, we do this by focusing on water harvesting technologies. We focus on water harvesting technologies because at present what you see is that a significant uh, amount of uh, rainfall on dryland farms is being lost. And this loss occurs in the form of runoff, surface runoff, but also evaporation and drainage. And uh, this can amount to 85% of the total rainfall in a given area. The two main uh, projects implemented by Water in Same, we have a project in the Midland which is Bangalala village, and a project in the lowland, which is Makanya village. Water harvesting is very important to the f future food self-sufficiency for Tanzania because majority of the Tanzanians, over 80%, are subsistent farmers and they depend on rain-fed agriculture. And with the changing climate, rainfall are becoming erratic 
and therefore harvesting rain water is key in ensuring successful yields and therefore livelihood for the people. Kwa hiyo inabidi uyafuatilie kwa undani sana. Ndio maana sija leo nitaka kupoteza nafasi hii kwa sababu ngipoteza nafasi hii sitanyosha tena. The main objectives uh, behind water is that we try to work on improvement of these water harvesting technologies. And we will do that in different ways. We have uh, micro dams being used in Tanzania. There are also channels uh, be constructed. And what we also can do is to uh, reduce evaporation losses by applying surface covers, for instance, different types of crop residues. And that's something what we are doing or looking at also in Burkina Faso. In Bangalala village, about 500 people are benefiting from the project in the canal that we have selected. And in Makanya village, about 1,000 people are benefiting. We can go up to around 2,000 to 3,000 people who will be benefiting indirectly from the water project in Tanzania. Katika uzalishaji mzuri na hospitali ni na na shule ni mawatoto pia katika uzalishaji kupiga matofari na nini kwa hiyo hapa inapata uzalishaji bora zaidi kuliko Water harvesting is essential for food production as it helps to ensure continuity in the water supply Similarly the flow of information generated by the FP7 projects and the direct involvement of the local communities is helping further development in the field. The development of water technologies isn't just limited to food production. With less water available, sanitation is also another major issue. CLARA is a research project that works in this area. The aims of CLARA in general are to contribute to sustainable development of water supply and sanitation systems in African cities and in particular we want to provide tools that, that make it possible for local people to improve their situation. Technologies for Clara are just a means to an end and specifically if we look at the sanitation chain, um, technologies do not work if they are not operated and not maintained. So we have to look at the whole change from the production of the fecal material from the toilets over transport to treatment to the very end where products can be reused in, in agriculture. Nowadays people are mm, uh, collecting waste from uh, uh, toilets. They change it to compost so that this compost again goes to the farmers so that it is one job opportunity for the people who are engaged in waste collecting and compost producing and selling it. Clara is supporting these associations, these members, to continue uh, to develop their activities, their work, and to upscale their capacity. Clara is capacitating the uh, local people to do uh, and to develop some business on which can be sustainable. Kazi bivit mansara mansara tendish gavi no manna genyo. Kela ragem ba madagafu ahun iskalen ba dress erasa chinen lavutan. Kela rab ba mamtathu dambenyam ba mabzat bivit katno suka mamtathu bivit yallo malatno ahun gin dambenyam ba mabzat. Oletanya daraja ingda unkon zama da azmat bima ta shintibet kahun ba fiti na bara shintibet la masait inafir na bara. Ahun bazi kortenal, basos tanya daraja ahun shitalwa betala izin bosh gar betaya aze, ene betala izin demi tayo la shinti bilak admo shinti betu at agabi allah ene nabbar ku, kahulum betala tataki ene nabbar ku, he takamat gar, warer shin gar, andan nagar gar ya mikasat nagaroch nabbaru. So Clara is it's about helping the local people to improve the water supply sanitation systems and basically also to uh, build up capacity so that or to provide tools that local planners, local 
municipalities can uh, can contribute to improve their uh, situation by themselves. The effect of climate change poses a lot of uh, problems in how to deal with either and both excess of water due to, to uh, extreme events like floods and, and uh, heavy rains and uh, uh, long periods of drought. So the most uh, uh, challenge that we will have to face and the African farmers will have to face is how to keep their land productive and make better use of the available water, which sometimes is too much and sometimes, sometimes is not enough. Tackling climate change is one of the biggest global challenges of this century. By sharing knowledge between the EU and Africa and empowering local communities, we can find more sustainable solutions. The FP7 African Call projects are taking action now to secure a better future. <laughs>